Today I'm going to plan and build this rooftop renovation here in the neighborhood of Monstera in the city of Andea here on Cubed Community. We're gonna start it off with a site visit. I'm gonna walk you through my plan to complete it. I'm gonna show you all the math and architecture behind my design. And then you get to watch the chaos unfold as I attempt to build something that looks half decent. At the end, there will be a tour. So if you don't care about the whole building part, just go ahead and skip to this timestamp. Boo, just build, no one cares. Before we get started, if you don't mind clicking the like, it helps the channel grow and helps me to reach more people who may also enjoy this content. So with that being said, Hello, so I made this building in one of my other videos, which I actually built in October of 2022, but I put together this rooftop kind of haphazardly. It, it, there's not much sense to it. Like this HVAC just sprawls all over the whole thing. It could be back in this corner, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. Put it back in this corner. I need to move these photovoltaic units here. This also doesn't make a whole lot of sense. South is this way, and this wall is just going to block a lot of the sunlight, so you're going to lose a lot of solar gains there. Photovoltaics when no sun. Oh, so sad. And this skylight, these are powered rails here in Cube Pack. I think what I'm going to do is move this over right here. I know, like, if you look inside, it is right here, so it does provide a lot of light more deeper into the space, which I think was the original intention. But I mean, if these ones can survive without it, this one can too. So I'm probably just gonna move this up to the front here so that you can get, you know, a little bit more sun by your windows as well. So it'll be nice and bright, put some plants in here, whatever you wanna do. I don't know if I'm gonna furnish them, we'll see. But I would like to change this entire area into, well, I wanna have a little dining area, maybe right here. This is the door, okay, hold on, let me, let me back up. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the staircase coming up, right? You walk all the way up here. This is the door. Actually, let me just open the door right now. There you go, open door. I want you to walk out onto this rooftop and I want there to be a place where you can sit down and have a meal. I want to have a barbecue station, probably over in this corner, but we'll see. You know, you can slap some stuff on the grill, put on a barbecue for all your friends. And then over here, I'm thinking of having some sort of seating. I want there to be a lot of greenery and probably some sort of garden as well. But we'll get into that. We'll get into soil types. It'll be very informational. So I hope you enjoy. First of all, I'm gonna move these photovoltaic panels likely up onto the roof here, move the HVAC. This is taking up a lot of space. I would like to have some seating and a dining table of some sort. I want to have a little barbecue area and then more privacy, but I would like to keep the view. So I think I'm gonna do that by adding some fences or greenery. I want to potentially move the skylight because then that's going to reclaim this space here. So likely move it over here. Now, something I need to look at, putting PVs up here, is it worth the investment? Because if we check it out on our screen here, we can see that if we put PVs here, there's going to be some buildings blocking the way. This is south. So I'll do a little bit of an analysis on that. It's not going to be anything insane. You would actually model it out, but shh, don't worry about it. Another thing I would like to take into consideration is the climate, the type of plants, and the soil type. So we're in the neighborhood of Monstera in the city of Andea, and Andea is on an island. So we're going to assume a temperate climate. And, you know, since we're in Minecraft, I'd like to grow some carrots and potatoes. I know I spelled potatoes wrong. Don't worry about it. So with that being said, let's talk about this plan. So this is looking at it from this angle. I'll move the skylight over to this corner. I will have some stairs going up to this deck on top. And down on the bottom here, you're going to have different sets of greenery in very strategic locations. And these three words here, I guess that's more than three words, but you know what I mean. This is the thing that it is blocking. I'm also going to have to include some sort of lights. I don't know where I'm going to put that yet, but I'll figure it out. Let's start off by moving these PV panels. I'm gonna go up here. Can I, okay, hold on. This is gonna be a bit of a problem because these are, oh, okay, I can just take those off. I think those were mostly decorative. And I know this does open up a little bit here, but let me show you something. If we go down here, see, it's already extended down. So there's actually no reason for it to go up. That looks all right. I mean, it doesn't look as interesting in here, but that's fine. It doesn't matter that much, don't worry. So I'm going to take these. And I'm gonna build them first and do my analysis afterwards. So this is kind of how I design them, whoops. Actually, I don't wanna block this window. So maybe what I'll do, take that out, do this, and then I will put the next row here because I can't put the next row here because then this is gonna block it. But I can put it right here, do the same thing. Oop, a little bit of biome issues, but that's okay. I'll fix that in a second. All right, so then you can kind of see once the sun goes across the sky this way, assuming these buildings don't block it, 
it will go here and then the ray of light will cross right in this corner and then be collected here they still might be a little bit too close actually so what if i spread them out a little bit hmm? what if i do huh what are you going to do about it? So if I line this up right with the top of the building, you see that number right there, it is minus 41.5. So let's just say it's minus 41, which actually just means it's 41 degrees above the horizon. Because if I put this down, it's down to zero. Then up here, it's up to about 41. So if we assume that Andea is at the same latitude as Ottawa, Canada, because this is what this chart is for, then if we go to 41 degrees right here, this is your solar elevation, zero up to 90, which would be looking straight up. Go to 41, it's gonna go right across here. So then if we put a point right here where my cursor is, that means March 20th and above, you're definitely gonna get sun all the way back down. So you have March, April, May, June. And then if we go back down along this line, July, August, September, and then a little bit on either end, right? So from March 20th to September 20th, you're definitely going to get sun in that area. And then a few days on either end. But once you get down to February and October, which would be this line, you're not gonna get sunlight at noon. So I think that's okay. The reason I'm assuming a latitude of 45 is because this link unfortunately has some issues with it. It is from the University of Oregon if you do want to check it out, but right now it's broken. Now, additionally, just to make sure this is a really sketchy way of doing this, but if I line my eye set up right with the corner of this and I look up, so this is not blocking it and it's the building. So if this was closer and the edge was right here, you would see the edge of this PV panel and not that one, meaning you'd have to space these out a little bit further to maximize the amount of sunlight you capture. I hope that made sense somewhat but with that being said we can get rid of these now now the next step i wanted to do was to move this hvac into this corner so first of all i'm going to get rid of it and where that connected that did not actually make any sense at all most of the time i just place my hvac wherever oops so i'll take this one and what i'm going to do is put one right in this corner so it's going to be a little bit larger than the other one actually i think i might be able to get away with putting it in the corner but this should be open, so we'll do that. And I'm gonna have some wood paneling around here, and I wanna have a little bit of a door so that if your HVAC technician comes up the stairs and is like, hey, I need to fix your HVAC, where's your HVAC? He can just walk in here and then have a little bit of walking room around the side, fix it up, you know, do what they need to do. So maybe something like this. And then to have these connect in the corner, I just make it so this one is on this block and then this one is on there, because you can't have them on both, unfortunately. So if I do something like this and then stack it up, that's not too bad. Next, I think I'm gonna move this skylight. If I, hmm, how am I gonna do this? Let me take this, I'm gonna take you. If I move this one, two, three, that should work. Get this stuff out of here. Yeah, that's not too bad. So you're down in here, you know, you have uh, lots, of, lots of light up there. Actually, yeah, let me take this, I can do that. All right, that, that works, I think. And now I can extend this ceiling. There you go. Sorry, whoever's living there, you get your ceiling back, I promise. And what I'm actually going to do is take out everything here. I do want to leave the gravel around the HVAC just in case there's, I don't know, it, there's some leak or something. I don't know if there's actually any fluid in it or not, but too bad, I'm leaving it there anyway. And up top, I am debating whether I want to use this type of wood because I do want it to be wood. I do want it to feel like a deck of some sort. Or actually, since I'm gonna build this upper section that kind of goes out this way, and it's gonna be made actually probably of trap doors, something like this, and you are gonna get this wood texture. Maybe down here, I'll actually use some sort of tile. Oh, actually, I know exactly what I'm gonna use. This one, this one's one of my favorites. I love this one. So if I use the fill command, Oop, that's embarrassing. I typed the wrong command. There we go. Check that out. See how it connects so nicely? And then up here, we can continue this wood texture, but I'm gonna leave that for now. I wanna get this bottom section done first. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. I am gonna try and get this top section done first because I do have some supports that are going to be sticking out somewhere in here. So if I can get those nailed down, then I think it's going to make my life a lot easier. 
And for the stairs, I do have a plan set out where the stairs connect to here. That's not how, how does that, there we go. And there's gonna be no handrails on the right-hand side because this building is here. So if for some reason this building is demolished, then I will have to put in handrails on the other side. Typically, this is not an assumption that you would make when you are designing a building, but I think it's okay for now. Now, what I can do is take these out. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll leave this one. Take that out, because that was originally just to keep the water out from this crevice in the corner. But since I have something over top, I think it'll be okay. Let's stack it. Start by three. I could probably go one more because I want this to remain open because this is going to either take in or reject air. Again, this is not actually how HVAC works. I mean, it's kind of how HVAC works, but not in one machine. And then, okay, I didn't really think this through. No, this is not gonna work. And the reason it's not gonna work, even if these textures were correct, is because this is on the bottom. So I, I can't actually connect that there. I don't really wanna use a full block. Maybe what I will do instead dead let me do something like this actually if i stack this down there you go that kind of works right hmm am i assuming that this is connected into this building that's the real question you know what no because if they decide to tear down this building for whatever reason then i don't want to have to be on the hook for adding another structural support it's easy to add a handrail structural support it gets a little bit complicated bring this up okay and then i need some sort of railing oh a ladder that's not bad. I was thinking I would have to do some weird stuff with fences, but that actually works quite well. Let me tell you about one of the reasons why I wanted to have this upper deck here. When you walk out here, okay? Yeah, I know this kind of obscures your view of these towers, but you know, it's supposed to be nice and cozy in here. We'll add lots of plants as we were talking about a minute ago. When you're here, you can't really see those towers. Down here, you get a nice view. If I have my render distance up high enough, you can see some honeycomb towers that are way down there, which are pretty cool. You know, you have a view of all this. And then, you know, you can come over here and see some of these buildings, which I think these ones are all going to move because there's a big park down here, but that's to be determined. And then, you know, you can't really see much this way, but with this, hold up, rookie mistake. Got to, got to fix that. There we go. If I add this on top, look how much more you can see, but this looks pretty good. I'm going to add some railings here as well. All right. Not too bad. So we'll come back up here and decorate that in a few minutes. And actually, now that I've done this with the ladders, I really actually would like to replace this. And the reason I want it there is because I can add a barbecue roughly right here. And then I don't have to give up this block. So, okay. Okay. Very nice. Now I would like to build a big old barbecue. Let's do something like this. I want a section on the sides so that, you know, you can prepare your meat. What is that? Oh, hello, Minecraft sounds. I forgot I had you on. Here, I can do something like this. The only thing I'm concerned about is there's not really a cover for it unless I move it over by one, which actually could work. Here, wait, let me, let me show you what I mean. Get rid of that, get rid of that, put that there. And then on the back, I can take some stairs and then, oh, come on. This is the cover that kind of swings down and you know, covers it, the barbecue cover thingy. You know, you know what I mean, right? Then actually, maybe I'll do something like this. So it's more of a, a solid table. And this is going to be the dining table. So you're gonna have a chair here, maybe a bench here, chair, bench, and then this is the table in here. And it's already covered. So if it does start raining, you don't need to put up an umbrella. You're already set, you're good to go. Now, instead of laying it out, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the material. So if we fly down to this community garden that I made a while ago, I'm gonna steal some of the materials. Oop, oh, look at that, they're already in my inventory. So a bit of a, a chest here, so you can store your tools. And then you have some of the plants here. And just to change it up a little bit to show a walkway, I think I'm gonna steal this cobblestone as well. I'm gonna take some lime wool and actually plant out where I wanted my large trees first so that I don't accidentally build a garden and then it kind of wanders into this territory. This one is meant to block this tower. This one is kind of meant to block part of this and then this one over here is meant to block these greedy hamburger lovers right here. They want your hamburgers. They can smell your barbecue. Bunch of hamburger thieves. I don't think it's going to be very big. Probably going to be actually quite small. Now the question is, do I want it one above this or do I want to go into this? Because this does come with implications where you do have to have drainage underneath. Maybe let's make an assumption that this is actually quite thin. And then the bottom half of this is drainage and then it goes somewhere. I don't know. I'm not thinking that far ahead, but we'll do this and maybe something 
right here as well so that you can kind of walk in the middle and then I don't know maybe I'll, I'll do something like this so this kind of gives you your walkway which I think should be okay let's put some potatoes there put some carrots there leave them let them grow you know and then where do I want the chest maybe actually I don't want wood beside the barbecue that's probably a bad idea so maybe I'll actually put it over here we have the chest you can open it and then little drawers or something there this is going to be our table so let's figure out a design I don't okay never mind I don't like this table design it looks kind of stupid all right maybe I want to go with this instead so I'm going to use prismarine stairs for the actual seats I'm going real simple like really rudimentary here and then that's not what I want I'm using diorite stairs as the table so that you know this I think this works then I don't know maybe I'll have a seat that's like pushed off to the side a little bit. Somebody's getting ready to, can I, why, why can't I sit? I want to sit, come on. I also put this here, I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is just cobblestone slabs doubled up. I think that's okay for now. I'm gonna put a lot of greenery around here, so that'll make it look prettier, I hope. Oh, and actually, now that I've changed this, I can probably push this back by one. I don't want people like going all the way up to the, the edge here. No, I mean, it is kind of a cool view of the street, but I don't know. If you're up here, I'm assuming you already have one of these apartments so you already have a street view anyway it's fine you also have this nice balcony so let's figure out some seating around here now actually ooh, wait i have an idea if i take cobblestone slabs and some stairs if i do something like this and then bring this so it's a little bit lowered does that no get that out of here you know what i'm not following that design get go wait if i take some stripped jungle wood it's kind of nice, right? Creates a little bit of separation. Maybe I'll put a little bit of greenery up here, something like that, so that if you're sitting here, you're not just like staring down, but you still want to be able to have somewhat of a conversation, but you don't want it to be like completely together. This is the introvert pit. <laughs> you go here and it's like, don't talk to me, leave me alone. I'm trying to barbecue, eat your food, and then I'm going over here, don't talk to me. I don't know why I in invited you here. Ooh, check this out, campfire. Don't mind if I do, very nice. So do something like this, just make sure not to accidentally step in it. Whoops, oh no, your toes are on fire, that's unfortunate. And then if I take an iron trap door, put that on top, oh, look at that. You can throw food on there now, cook stuff here and on the barbecue. Oh, you know what you can keep in here? You can keep some bone meal and then, oh, why are they getting smaller? Okay, they're getting smaller, that's fine. This is not going as planned. <laughs> okay, so before I put the final touches down here, I need to decorate up here and I would like to keep it relatively simple so i think what i'm gonna do is add some diorite stairs maybe i don't know okay hold on okay what am i actually trying to do so you walk up the stairs you're like wow this is a pretty sweet view so you want to keep the view this way you want to keep actually you should probably keep the view of most of the areas so hmm you probably don't want to see this section here so if i take some of this this is going to be greenery maybe i'll have oops maybe i'll have some greenery in this corner as well maybe I don't know, a little bit right here. Oh, actually, oh, that's kind of nice. Put one there because you want to keep this view, this view, and probably this one here. Your back's up against here. You're like really in the city, right? But you're still surrounded by all this greenery. So maybe let's do that. And then if I put some seats here, maybe actually let's do one there, two here, one, or actually another two here. And then you can fifth wheel. Actually, no, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Let me put... I keep clicking this. Let me put that one there instead. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> let's let's do that instead. You know what? No, 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 no. We're doing this. We're doing this. And then, ooh, wow, fancy design. Ooh, very nice. It's one one big thing. And then I don't know. In here, maybe a little table. You know, it's fancy. Putting that. Uh, putting some concrete in there. Ooh, I love concrete tables. So now, let's go ahead and just change some of this stuff. Get out of here. Get. Get. And we'll make adjustments as we go, but this is just to kind of get a general sense of where this greenery is going to be. Again, I want it to feel very, very green. Maybe, oh, I know what I can do there. What am I looking for? If I take some coarse dirt, put it up like this, and then does that work? Hold on. If I take you, do that doesn't work. Hold on. Take you, go there, fix this once for like the thousandth time. Okay, all done. If I put this right here, I can do something like this. And then, oh, stop clicking the thing. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. Get all of this out of here. And then, I don't know, if I put this one up, 
still kind of get that view there, but it still feels like you're surrounded by the greenery. Something like this. I think that looks pretty nice. Actually, I could probably cover this too. No, sorry, HVAC. You're getting a little bit of greenery on you. Do something like this. As long as I don't cover that, that is okay. But I can put it behind. Nice. See how green this is? Nice. Looks great. Okay. I want to keep this open, which looks good. Let's replace these. And then is there anything else I would like to replace? I don't want to put it too close to the barbecue. That would be a recipe for a bad time, but I can bring it down. Uh, I could probably do that. As long as the leaves aren't falling in your, your stuff. Your, what do you call it? Food? Hamburgers. Your hamburgers. Hamburgers? Did I hear hamburgers? I want hamburgers. Do you guys have hamburgers? I smell hamburgers. Ooh, hamburgers, hamburgers. Look how cozy this is. Look at this. Very nice. I'm going to add a couple, couple potted plants. One right here. That's not what I want. Let's try this again. Put one right... Nope. Put one right here on top of here. I would like to put it there and I don't want to put the pot here because I want to maintain somewhat this view and over here. Actually, you know what? Instead of having the leaves go down. All right, calm down Minecraft. Instead of having the leaves go down into your food, they'll go down into this flower pot. So no problem. No harm, no foul here. No, no, that's a seat. Can't put that there. That actually doesn't look too bad. What I could do is have a, a bit of a, an outdoor welcome mat. Yeah, there you go. You walk outside. You know, you can, or actually it's more for when you're going from the outside in, go here, wipe your feet off, then you can come inside. And oh, we need a door as well. That's important. And cute back, I will take a jungle door and I'll stack it one up. This campfire will provide some light. So I honestly, I don't really think you need much light over here. Fancy modern light. Very nice. Look how, look how cool that is. Wow, so fancy and modern. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a final tour. So, this is your condo. I know, you just moved in. It's a little bit empty. That's okay. I know, it's a bit dark here too, but you're going to add some lights and stuff here. Blah, blah, blah. You got all this. I don't know what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Beside the point, you have access to the rooftop. So, you come out here into your staircase, and then you go all the way to the top. If you look straight up, you can see the crane is about to drop something on your face. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Straight through <laughs> the glass, so you get glass and concrete in your eyes. So, if you come out onto the rooftop, there are two tiers to it. A little spot to sit. You can have a barbecue with your friends. You can sit down, you can have a little meal. You can see all the skyscrapers around, and I'm very strategic with all the greenery and where I put it, because if you stand right at the entrance, you can see past this flower pot, because if I put it on this side, it would block part of the view. So, mm. very, very strategic. Interesting. Over here, we have my barbecue, little prep area. It's pretty nice. It's so weird. So, are, are these default textured to you? Yeah, they are. So I, I did that on so purpose. So trippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like, there's like three textures that are still in default, and I use all of them. Little little garden here. You can grow some carrots and potatoes. It's pretty nice. Over here, uh, this is from the community garden that I stole. So you can put all your tools in here, and then you have these buttons. Whoops. Whoa. Yeah, if you change the Whoa. block state, okay, this is not, <laughs> not going according to plan. But if you change the block state, then yeah, you can have like different rocks and stuff. But, you know, it's supposed to be like handles for a drawer that you can pull out. Yeah. And then if you come well, in here, here, little fire pit. Is, are these like little seats? Yeah. So you can sit Incorporated. here. Incorporated. Wow. Put some, put some stuff on here. So you can barbecue on top of here, or you can barbecue on here. If you want marshmallows, probably a better oh. idea to do it over the fire. Oh, whoa okay that's that's really cool so lots of cool buildings that. around here too so. i, I want to go up uh, yeah let's do wait. it oh okay oh First. you have your your hvac here too so i did renovate okay. this this was different a few days ago uh the hvac was kind of sprawled all over the place uh i'll i'll see if i can find a picture for you to put in your video if you want uh, of what it looked like before but the hvac i moved back into a corner so that if you have an hvac technician they can just walk in here and they don't have to go all the way across the rooftop but yeah cool. so if you're ready I'm ready to go upstairs. Oh, I'm more than ready. So if we come up here, we have a nice little seating area. It's not as big as downstairs, but you can see you can see significantly more of the city. And then you can see all those towers back there that we were looking at. This is really cool. Yeah. I mean, you just get to see everything. And this is nice because it's tall enough to see over the uh, smaller buildings, yeah. but not too tall to where it's like, okay, well, now there's no... No more skyline, you know? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's my that's my little rooftop that I've been working on for... Ooh. I think I, I built it in like an hour and a half, two hours. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, where else? 
That is it for this video. Click like if you like, click subscribe if you really like it. My name is Matt. Thanks for watching.